Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Summers Bison. We are the Bakers. Got Marissa with me, wife, and the Big Joe Herd. Today, we're moving the Big Joe Herd out of the nine acres. They've been there for a couple days after doing some uh, little escapes uh, on us to our neighbor's property. Um, and then we're moving the calves to a place they've never been before. And we're gonna move the Big Joe Herd into our 40 acres. We also have a soil erosion prevention today. We're using the hydro bed for it. I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. So this is a, uh, this is what I filmed the other day when the water was rushing over and this is what it keeps doing. So definitely gonna have to replace this, like I mentioned, but we found a tin horn probably twice as long as this maybe three times longer than this uh solid metal thick gauge metal probably about uh about 10 inches in diameter and i thought about slicing it up in half using it here and using it up at uh up by the actual ponderosa barn so anyways i want to show you how much it's eroded here and this is uh, seen some days water's going under there and this is slowly we're about to open up the gates here with that. Oh, it's been damaged. Yeah, with that hole. There it goes a little bit. Pretty little stream though. We're gonna go get the Big Joe Herd. They're over there hanging out in the shade. It's already getting a little humid for them. Oh my gosh, Marissa, we never even locked that gate. Huh. <laughs> but we made it to where they couldn't push it. <laughs> Cause we need a new age brace. We made it to where, uh, ooh, look at that fire over there. Well, everybody's laid up right now. It's a little warm. So uh, what we're going to do is go get the calves out of the hay meadow. See if they'll come up here. I doubt they'll follow us because they're not trained yet for cubes and all that stuff, not trained at ATV quite yet, but we're gonna let them go and see if they'll make their way up here to the fence. Then we're gonna move the Big Joe herd out into the 40 acres like we've been talking about. And then the calves will just keep following them hopefully as we keep opening up these gates. But the point is, is we gotta separate the calves in different pastures once we get there. We're gonna try to anyways. Right? Yeah. Try. But they're not even moving, they're like, no. We're not having it right now. All right, next thing we gotta do, I'm gonna explain what's going on, but uh, we're gonna use the hydro bed here to roll out one little single bale of hay. As we're starting to rotate these bison over, I'm gonna roll this hay out and you're like, Dusty, it's not hay feeding season. But uh, yes, I know, but there's a purpose and I'm gonna show you kind of why. I'm gonna roll out a bale of hay in these certain areas where the bison like to uh, pace, maybe I've got a couple of pacers, or if they're ready to move pastures, they'll walk up and pace up and down the fence. Well, what that does is cause some erosion um, and it presses down on that soil and causes some issues. So I'm gonna roll out this hay, and I did this in the winter time, and now we're seeing the benefits of why we roll out hay in certain areas. Because of the hydro bed, it makes it easy to exactly where we wanna put it. And uh, so we're gonna do that right now before we rotate this herd. Um, Marissa's gonna help me. So you can see some uh, drainage here of some erosion. But areas like this, this is where, you know, I have a couple of pacers is what I like to say. Bison just sometimes get stressed and there's one or two that are just a little overwhelming, um, but not, like the most of the herd but you can see this trail like a game trail and that's fine you know sometimes when they're ready to rotate they'll pace this fence and say dusty let's go let's move we've got fresh grass over there but um sometimes i'm not ready for that that's just livestock for you then you get up i will follow it and i kind of parked over some of it but let me show you what i'm talking about so some of these areas like this it's getting bigger it's getting bigger because they'll sit here and crowd the gate Oh, they'll hang out right here next to the gate. And so there's a lot of stomping, there's a lot of erosion. And uh, you can see these areas have been washed out like this. This isn't good. This isn't good. We're losing soil here. 
which means I'll have to come in and put rock back here, bring soil up. I've got some stacked up from the ponds there that we've cleaned out, but you know, you've got to keep this sort of stuff. And then we're losing some even over here on this side because they pace this side because they want it out there. And uh, this is this just goes into management practices. This is how sometimes it goes. This is an area I really want to hit right here. And so what happens is after we roll this out, when they if they want to pace this, those one or two, or the whole herd hangs out right here, we'll just spread the hay out in this area. And when they stomp, they're going to punch that hay back into the soil and give it some growth. So not all of this soil is eroding away right and you can see some of the indicator species of plants here uh, this is called um, ragweed uh, it's an indicator species of high traffic areas um, you know like right in here you can see it coming up and right in here so roll the bell of hay out and hopefully slow some of this down they'll come in here and stomp it we'll do it on both sides Reposition. Will you help me out? Just oh, I'll do my best, but. And then just let me know I'm in the finish. I'm trusting you with this? Okay. A little more. You're good. Yeah, which one is it? Is it? Oh. Got it. Shit. Okay. Ready to rumble. All right, so here we go. Sorry, I had the GoPro sitting up on top. I didn't, uh, something malfunction, technology problem, shocking, right? But uh, we rolled all this out. We made a couple runs here, made a run over there. Couldn't get super close to it um, because of uh, my truck, the width of the truck uh, up next to the fence. But uh, we got it, got it all strewed out here. We've got a little bit left. And so that's a great thing about it is you can roll out what you want and then take your leftover and move it somewhere else. You don't have to use it all here, but we may have to get a, uh, may have to get a pitchfork and go pitch it back over in these areas that I really wanted to try to hit. Probably could just take my feet and do it like that. But that's the idea is what we're, what we're doing here is to get this covered. Now, this is not my good hay. Uh, this is a little bit of straw, but we can probably just scoot it over like that. That way they come by and they stomp on this. They may eat it, poop on it, pee on it, give it some fertilizer, compact it back down into the soil so we don't have this problem. We need every piece of ground covered with grass. It can even be a weed, that's fine. Um, but it just doesn't need to be bare. We've had so much rain this spring, early summer. 
um, it causes when you have those big one or two inch downpours within a couple hours you can lose a lot of your topsoil just like the dust bowl all over again but instead of wind erosion it's water erosion because you don't have anything holding it together which is what that grass is for sorry thank you for bearing with me here as i'm just kicking all of this over that we rolled out perfect see there we just had to you just got to kick it hon i'm just kidding that's it that's how i did guys okay now y'all want to see the fun part right we're gonna go move the bison the big joe herd that is and then we're gonna try to catch um we're gonna try to move the calves too we're gonna move them up some out of the hay meadow see if they'll follow the big herd they'll smell their tracks poop and stuff see if the calves will make all their way make their way to the nine acres and then we're gonna move the big joe herd in this 40 mercy may and i may go light some blackberry bushes real quick you know we got a lot of moisture on the ground you might as well would it be better to push them Yeah, well, we want them to always use this in the future. It's my, just my first thought. Woo! Just the long stare. Come on, kids. Like, why do we have to move? What do you want? Golly, oh, they're not even getting up. We got some takers. Y'all want to move, you scraggly looking suckers? This would be great for Cora. Yeah. Once they see that opening, they'll be like, woo, party! You be my right wing, I'll be back. Come on, knuckleheads. They'll go, they're just gonna be kind of pokey. They've never been pushed really like this out in an open pasture. But if uh, we can get them to walk down the fence line here, they'll see that opening. Got my co-pilot over there, right wing. 
Maverick and Goose. If Maverick or Goose was girl, I guess. Oh, they're gonna see it for sure. We got them. We got them. Okay. That's that's good. They're gonna run right past it if she doesn't stop. Stop! Stop! Just stop and let them figure it out. You're still pushing them. Back up. Getting on to her because there's no sense to push them. You stop and let the one or two that go, the rest of them will see it. Now they see it. See, they ran into the fence. You just wait, be patient, let them figure it out. They'll do it on their own. Just stop, just stop and wait. You gotta read their body language. I'm not perfect at it, but. She'll be mad at me, you watch, for getting onto her. I'll be in the doghouse. You coming? Hey, Meta is now in recovery. For some reason, they know where to go. They smell mom and dad. A little wet, a little soggy. Just let you in just follow me they'll come up here hey not you shoo 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 back big joe back need a little wd on there you guys think all right calves will come up here in just a second i'm assuming we're going to go ahead and move them in case these calves start to pace this fence and uh big herd paces the fence go ahead and get out of them and see if they'll follow us come on Woo! Woo! I'm on! 
Let's hook onto that mineral uh, tub too. Hold on, get there. Joe's kind of following. Woo! Just a little guy. Come on! All right, let's go up here and grab that mineral feeder real quick. How about this koozie, guys? We still have some of these. We're out. Oh, we're out. Oh, Best no, koozies we're ever. They are awesome. They're it's like a handy little ranch hand. Handy little ranch hand. Because it will stick anywhere. Even with a full one. Now, I wouldn't suggest putting it on here. Maybe kind of bumpy, but works great. Even better logo on it. All right. Got my little chain up here. Come, come back to me this way. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah. Who's ready to move? Woo, let's go. Here's a Redman bag. Let's see. Okay. What's up, Christy? Christy. Come on. Woo, let's go. Come on. walk back there so let's wait on them all Gates open for the calves. They were just right over there where Marissa and I came through. We got the Big Joe herd out. They're gone and locked away in here. We're going to leave this open and hopefully the calves will come in here at some point. Marissa and I will catch them. Okay, for a brief moment, I want to show you something. Uh, we talk about why we rolled out that hay. So this is the main road that we come in. So the Ponderosa barn's kind of right in there. Well, the herd's actually going down this road. And they use it as a traffic um, source uh, right here. You can see their their hoof prints but see i rolled hay out here and you can see all this nice little fresh growth since winter time because they haven't been in here since uh, april like 13th i believe is when we moved them out to the burn unit a lot of this stuff as it flows down the hill gets caught up you can see some of this leaf matter the uh some of this grass starts growing right here in these areas that uh, we rolled the hay out and they stomped it back in but here's something that i love we recognize this issue here of some of these banks uh some soil erosion here that was already here when we got the ponderosa but you can see the you can see that the hay has got down sunk into the ground some well and we've had lots of good moisture we've got grass growing on the banks now we've got grass growing on the pile of hay because they would actually come down here stomp it into the soil they would leave some but what it does is it slows down the water it slows down the soil and it clumps it up and where it clumps up in these areas you get grass to grow from the seeds from the hay that we roll out this is why we roll out hay on our pastures and not in one spot so as we roll out this hay, we'll get leftovers from the hydro bed and we'll get a small bell. We would just dump it in here. They would come in here and eat. So, you know, by the time this water is rolling and now it's starting to slow down because the hay slowed it down. And because it slowed down, we've got grass growing on the banks here. Now, ideally, I would like a little bit more time for that grass to really get established, but that's good. But they're gonna come in here and they love this fresh growth. So they're gonna get that stuff, that real palatable grass that's growing here. They'll come graze it 
and we're going to move them around so it'll have some breaks. It'll just be like mowing the lawn, essentially. They're going to come clip it. They'll go somewhere else or we'll move them and then they'll come back and there'll be some regrowth. But the main thing is, is that um, we're getting roots into these banks here of this washout and we've slowing the water down, catching the soil. We're getting the roots in the ground, which will prevent us from this erosion uh, on these places. And that's it. All right, you ready? Well, after a couple of, of escape situations from uh, the Big Joe herd, um, getting on the neighbor's property, and after obviously saw Mike and I get them in once, and then escaping again, and Brooks and I getting them back in, uh, Marissa and I finally got the Big Joe herd starting in their uh, rotational movement of uh, pastures and got them situated and so they're going to make their way all the way to the front of the ponderosa eventually so next thing is we'll let the calves come up and the, we'll hopefully follow the big joe herd in and then we'll catch them in the nine acres and then bring the calves well, which are pretty much now yearlings all the way up to the ponderosa barn barn we're going to get them on some feed and they're going to have their own pasture too as well uh, big thanks to these guys right here hydra bed more than just a hay feeder as you can tell, we've done so many things with this. It's got me out of so many bonds, guys. Today, the hydro bed helped us out with some erosion issues. Hopefully, the hay will be compacted down after we're going to let the Big Joe herd in there. Hopefully, we can get some growth on that soil, reduce the erosion, and get it taken care of. Hydro bed, they've got a bison tough warranty. Hydro bed has a two-year systems warranty and a five-year structural warranty. And don't forget, a lifetime warranty on the Hydra Bed Bell Arms. So tough, so bison tough, like these guys right back here, loving the Hydra Bed. I wanna thank them for supporting our family, our ranch, and all the things that we do. Give Hydra Bed a call at 1-800-530-5624 or go to hydrabeds.com and check them out guys tell them i sent you if you want to know anything more about hydrobeds you can check it out on the website or just email me and we can chat about it this will change the way you ranch thank you guys for watching us we'll see you guys soon keep on bison ranching